Welcome to AD4 TV Radio News Update. My name is Adeyemi Tosin. In the news today, the Chairman Independent National Electoral Commission, Professor Mahmoud Yakubu, on Wednesday in Abuja, presented a certificate of return to the President-elect Bola Ahmed Tinubu, who won the number one position in the country in the just-concluded presidential and national assembly elections. Asiwaju Bola Ahmed Tinubu, during his acceptance speech, promised to serve the people and pleaded to all Nigerians to join him in working together for a successful nation as he urged all opposition parties to cooperate with him and seek amends for any perceived crime using legal procedures rather than resorting to violence in the streets. Uganda's Deputy Speaker of Parliament, Thomas Tayebwa, on Wednesday, while speaking at the Organization of African, Caribbean and Pacific States Parliamentary Conference, warned European Union countries against illegal trade and deceptive practices organized against other countries. Tayebwa strongly condemned the practice of EU member states of exporting European Union banned pesticides and products to developing countries. He cautioned and called for the immediate end of this act. Meanwhile, Iranian Foreign Ministry spokesperson Nasser Kamani today disclosed that Iran has expelled two German envoys as a result of their country's irresponsible interference in Iran's internal and judicial affairs. The decision came a week after the German government expelled two employees of the Iranian embassy in Berlin in response to a death sentence handed down to a German Iranian national, Damshid Shardan, in Tehran. The United States Embassy on Tuesday donated laptops, cameras and projectors to four media outlets and journalists support organization in Accra. This was done in a bid to deepen fact-based reporting and investigative journalism and build capacity for stronger journalism and accountable governance in Ghana as the United States government supports the rule of law in Ghana and around the world. The executive director for National Media Commission, George Sarpong, said the donation will deepen the bond of friendship between the United States Embassy and the media and suggested roundtable discussions as Ghana prepares towards 2024 election. In another vein, Greece Infrastructure and Transport Minister Kostas Karamnalis on Wednesday resigned following a fatal head-on collusion of two trains that occurred in central Greece on Tuesday, which killed at least 36 people. In an emailed press statement, Kostas said resigning from the position is a sign of respect to the memory of the people who died unjustly, as he took responsibility for the continual shortcoming of the Greek state and political system. Ghana today officially opened its international trade fair under the team Strengthening Small Medium Enterprises, a key to economic recovery which is geared towards promoting local and foreign businesses through networking. The seven-day exhibition is part of the government initiative to build capacity, improve access to funding and market access and facilitate business-to-business -business engagement for local participants with foreign business counterparts. Romanian Education Minister Ligia Deca today announced a new set of education laws that calls for an immediate ban on teaching staff undergoing an investigation for physical or verbal abuse. Deca said the ministry is set to strengthen responsibility and capacity of school counsellors to prevent violence and provide the necessary assistance to those involved in various violent incidents, both to intruders and victims and also support teachers through training programs. Moving to sports, Nigeria's under-20 national team, the Flying Eagles, will today face the Hippos of Uganda in the quarterfinals of the ongoing Confederation of African Football under-20 AFCON in Egypt, which will secure a place for the qualified team to the final 2023 under-20 World Cup that will take place between May 20th to June 11th, 2023 in Indonesia. Flying Eagles coach Ladan Boso said his team are ready and prepared and fit to to secure the World Cup tickets. For more information, please visit our platforms showing on the screen right now. Many thanks for watching.